Hi everybody! Here I am. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. I did not sleep well last night despite having a super long day last yesterday. I babysat my grandchildren for 12 plus hours and didn't sleep that well uh, the night before. And then I dog sat for my other daughter's two little doggies because she's away for a few days with her wife. Uh, so my husband was so nice this morning and got up and uh, he's over there walking the dog so I can try to do this little unboxing for you. And to save time, because I talk a lot, and also just to save time so you don't watch me unwrap every bit of plastic, I have taken the things out of the box. But these were all things, uh, maybe I'll turn it around so you can see, I hope I can, I don't even know if I can. Uh, uh. No, that probably wasn't a good idea because I have some nail polish that I'm going to review next uh, on a different thing. So, anyway, I took a lot of things out so that you wouldn't have to. So this is a Fab Fit Fun editor sale, and as far as I know from the email I got a couple of weeks ago, it's their first ever edit sale, I think is what they called it. And uh, I don't know if it was a lot of leftovers or they just have um, connections with the brands. Uh, but everything uh, on the site, it said 20 to 70 percent off. I think everything I got was a minimum of 30 percent off and many things were 50, 60, 70 percent off. So I am really thrilled with the prices. And what I did also is uh, I went on to Amazon to uh, see if the products were there and if they were what the retail prices were to make sure that FabFitFun wasn't just telling me oh you're getting this much off and how great that is. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to check for myself and I also read reviews on the products because everything I purchased uh, I had no idea about. I've you know they were not brands or they might have been brands I was familiar with in one case but nothing I had ever used before. So as long as they had some, you know, mostly positive reviews and the prices really looked good, like I was doing a good savings, I was willing to try these products that I'm going to show you. And um, part of my appearance, my hair is a little wet because I woke up and it's crazy and I'm not washing it because my husband and I are going on a bike ride in a little while. But uh, I did put on this bodysuit that I got, if you looked at one of my Stitch Fix uh, videos, uh, the only one that I ever received and unboxed. This is the bodysuit, and I really love it. Um, these earrings I got at New York and & Company, and I like an earring that you don't have to use a post. So these have like a little lever back. And uh, let's see, my jeans, I can't really see how nice they are, but they are... Um, just black with a tiny bit of distressing. I don't know if you can see, just a little bit. And they fit me perfect. They have a, uh, you know, frayed hem or a released hem, but I'm five foot, not even two. So I got those off a of Sierra trading post. So as you might guess, I do a lot of online shopping, trying to get the best bargain, et cetera. Oh, my hair. But anyway, I'm seeing I'm getting lots more gray coming in than uh, ever before, and I think, well, my hair's wet, so it's not showing up, but I am noticing a little pieces of gray besides just here, so I have to decide if I'm going to grow it out or blend it or what, but I like the idea of looking and feeling your best, whatever that means to you, but also embracing who you are, where you come from, and uh, your age, so if you're still here, it's a good day and, uh, you know, embrace who you are in your age. I will be 54 on May 17th and I'm very grateful and I have noticed many, many changes in my skin and my hair and my body and my ability, uh, you know, even my joints, uh, all kinds of stuff. So uh, some of my older clients uh, have said to me in the past, getting old is not for sissies and I'm just beginning to understand what they mean. Uh, so, anyway, I digress, as usual. Uh, so I joined FabFitFun, and they are not paying me to do this. Maybe they should, but they're not. Uh, at the end of uh, late last summer, I believe, 
or early September. In any case, it was too late for me to receive the regular fall box, so I received their editor's box. It was just a matter of when I joined. It's $49 a box. Um, you know, maybe my next unboxing, the summer one, maybe they'll give me a code to pass on to you if you want to try it. I think I had like a 10 or a $20 code. But I opted to um, do the yearly subscription instead of just one box. So I don't think the code even worked for me, the one I had gotten. Uh, it's a little cheaper if you do the yearly, uh, four times a year. And so I got the editor's box for the fall, and then I got the winter and the spring. And I'm looking forward to when they tell me the summer one's coming out. And by doing this yearly, I got a choice for the for the winter and the spring. Um, I think it was two or three different choices. They gave you uh, like a choice in a color of, all right, you're going to get the scarf. Do you want the the blue one, the tan one, or the peach one? And so I got to pick. Uh, do you want the coffee mug or the face mask. So they give you, I think, at least two to four choices. It might be three all the time. I'm, I'm not sure. But it's kind of fun to know you have a little bit of control and choice, and but also you get to try new products and it's exciting to open the box. So I'll look forward to doing that with you. Anyway, um, as I got familiar with the whole system through the fall and winter, um, then I got an email about add-ons, and these are products that you can buy for a very discounted price, and they, uh, you know, you pay extra beyond that $49 a box. Mine is actually less because I do the whole year, so I pay a bigger amount for four boxes, but it's a little cheaper. Anyway, um, the add-ons were anywhere from, you know, $5 to 30 depending on the product. So I did buy add-ons for the winter and spring, and some of them I gifted for um, Christmas, but some of them are just things I wanted. So uh, some of them were things that were in the box that I didn't get based on my choices, etc. So, but I never heard of an editor sale before. I think it was their first one. So I talk a lot. I'm sorry. But anyway, I, I put things out on my table so that I wouldn't be searching too much. So the first thing I got was this Tarte skincare, and it's called a Brighter Days Moisturizer. And it's $9. I'm going to put my glasses on to tell you that it is 1.69 fluid ounce highlighting moisturizer. So, I like Tarte makeup. I didn't know they made other products, but of course, why wouldn't they? It's just that uh, I'm not really, you know, familiar with everything that's out there. I'm learning. And this does not have parabens. It does not have mineral oil. Flylates. I can't even... A couple of things that it shouldn't have in there at list, I can't pronounce, and it uh, doesn't have gluten, and it's dermatologist tested. So I'm looking forward to trying that. I'm always looking for um, good moisturizers that aren't going to cost a fortune. I don't mind paying a little bit, but anyway. So um, I'm not going to tell you what the retail prices are because I don't have that original um, that fit fun. I went on my computer and it's, you know, since the sale is over, they're, they don't even have the products listed anymore. But the next thing I got is Tarte Hair Goals Dry Shampoo for $11. And I think on Amazon it was like $34. And uh, this is four ounces. And I'm not, I didn't spray it to smell it, but I'm hoping that it's like a tropical smell by the looks of the bottle. I did buy a dry shampoo not long ago through FabFitFun. I don't remember the brand. All it did was make my hair feel a little sticky and tacky. And it kind of felt like a hairspray would feel, an old school one anyway. And um, I, I don't think it really did anything. So I'm actually going to pass that on to my father-in-law who can't wash his hair very much. Um, maybe it'll work on someone with really greasy hair. Um... You know, I wash my hair pretty. It looks a mess right now. I need to calm to get color if I'm going to do that. But anyway, um, it is nice to have a dry shampoo. Do you remember the old school one? If you're my age or a little younger, a little older, it was called Psst, P S S S S T, and I think it's still out. I'm not sure. But anyway, I thought oh, it might be nice to have a dry shampoo. So 
I tried it for nine or eleven dollars. Okay, so the next thing I got were two of these Lorac tantalizer buildable bronzers, and they were only nine dollars each. I think they retailed for around nineteen. So this is how they come, real pretty. Um, they came in these boxes, right? And this one is pool party. They give you the shade. It looks pretty close. Um, this one I probably could use anytime. Uh, and this one is called Sundays. Ah. Yep, Sundays. Pretty, pretty good. They're when I'm filming right now. They look a little lighter than they look in person. I can use them in, as long as I blend them well now. Probably in the summer when I have a little tan. Uh, they'll look even better or more natural. But also, one of my daughters, um, Kayla, who has a channel, she was like, Mom, you can use bronzer if it's light enough or whatever. Just on your eyelids and like in the crease a little bit if you have no time to do any makeup. And I did not do any makeup today. I just moisturized my face and I put a little, very lightly tinted sunscreen on because we are going on a bike ride in a little while. So I'm going to have to change out of all this. But I'm all ready for when my husband comes home and to try to enjoy the day and get out there. All right, so this is this is the one. And I like on the back, you can see which one it is. And it's big enough for me to read without my glasses. A lot of products, I can't read what they're saying, the directions. So, okay. Look, that looks pretty. This is the Sundays. And I'm just using my finger. So it's not going to look that great. But it's very nice. Uh, you can see I didn't press down hard. But it does have a nice amount of color. So that's Sundays. And pool party. I don't know where else to put this. Maybe just a little more in the crease. I don't know. I know you're supposed to use it as a bronzer, but I just wanted to... So, like, if you buy a product and it seems too dark, maybe you could use it somewhere else on your face. I don't know. But I could definitely see this would might work, you know, with the right makeup as a bronzer. Anyway, oh, I, I feel like I look a little better than I did. I don't know. So, I'm happy with them. They were $9 each. Then I got Real Her Playbook Eyeshadow Palette. I bought both again um, that were offered, and they were only $9 each again. And most things did come in a box. The Lura came in that box. These came in these. Uh, and they each came with a coupon. Um, so it's 20% off. All Real Her gross profits are donated to the AAUW, a nonprofit organization that advances equity for women and girls through scholarship programs, leadership, advocacy, education, and research. And then it says on the other side, say, mm -hmm. let these quotes act as a source of confidence and inspiration. With each application, you reinforce the meaning of the quote. I love that positivity. Uh, so they're not really quotes, they're just, I did peek, and, um, uh, they're just words, but they're cool words and positive words, and I love the idea of while you're physically, uh, doing something, that you are intending that word to be you, uh, and you can take that in internally and feel good about yourself and who you are. I love that. Anything you can do, right? So I'm just going to read you the, and a really nice looking palette came with this plastic, uh, you know, protector and a nice mirror. I did not take off the plastic yet of the mirror, but anyway, uh, so it's, um, yeah, mm, very nice. I wish I could read, uh, not turn it, but it's fine, fabulous, fun, strong, proud, courageous, smart, creative, and unique. And you can see I have a little fingerprint there because I wanted to just see, and I'll just do it again. I'm not going to swatch them all, but I barely touched it. And you can see a nice amount of color. And these are absolutely gorgeous. They're mostly like these ones you would use as highlighters or, or bases, depending on what you like. And I could see putting them here and here and wherever. 
um, and lots of beautiful saturated neutrals. These are like different bronzy browns. This one has a little burgundy. And this looks pretty black. This does not look like it has a shimmer, but the rest have a little shimmer, but not too much. Not like teenager shimmer, but more just like a little bit. I, I don't know how to say it. But anyway, that is Be Your Own Kind of Beauty. And the other one is Do Your Squats. Ah, I definitely need to do my squats. Oh, so this one I love too. I can't believe these are only $9. Driven. I'm going just like you would read a book. Driven, Limitless, Invincible, Bodacious is that one. Okay. Dazzling, Indomitable, Awesome, Terrific, and Unshakable. Awesome. What did I just say? Terrific and Unshakable. And again, these ones look more like you would use around, you know, lighter or as a base. And then uh, the only one I touched and I'll touch it real light again is indomitable I didn't press very hard and this is like a it's coming off really brown and muddy but it's like a burgundy brown so let's see I'll do yeah it's really saturated like I barely pressed and I can see it's staying on I don't have primer on my hands so I think these are really good this one down here, the Terrific does seem to have a little more sparkle in it, but again, not too much. The rest seem more shimmery. So, anyway, that is that. Very excited about it. So, uh, the next thing I got was my most expensive item, and that is Zoe Ayla Electronic Brush Cleaner for $24. And I researched on Amazon, and I looked at some YouTube videos, uh, I'm blocking my light. Maybe that's better. Okay, and it's a few uh, months, well, maybe eight, nine months ago, my daughter, Leah, was, like, helping me get rid of stuff, old makeup and brushes. And she's like, Mom, you got to clean your brushes. I've never cleaned my makeup brushes. And now, ever since she showed me how to do it with a little baby shampoo, and it was great. She helped me, and I, did, I have done it a few times. But, you know, it's a process, and then you have to wait for them to dry. This got really good reviews. Um, you just um, comes with eight different attachments to put on the your makeup brush handles, depending on the size and width and length and all that. And then you attach it to this electronic thing, and that's what makes it spin. And then you fill the uh, container up with water and probably some little kind of soap. I haven't opened it yet, uh, but according to the videos I watched. And then you just spin it in there and it spins all the makeup out, cleans it, and then you lift the brush up just a little bit, still under this ring, and then it spins it dry. So you're not only cleaning your makeup brushes much quicker, uh, much more quickly, but then you're able to dry them and probably use them they probably need a little bit more drying time, but uh, I'm very excited about this for 24 bucks. I saw them up to $90. Um, I don't know which one this is. On you know, they might be, have ones that are a little better or whatever. But I'm very I, 24 dollars. If it's going to save me time and make me clean my brushes more frequently, that's great. So the next thing I got was the SPF RX Anti oxidant power serum and I did not take it out of the plastic yet um, sorry it's kind of glary but this was uh, nine dollars and it's one ounce and it says uh, featuring a dual form patent vitamin C alpha uh oh tacopherolic acid and hydro I can't, another acid, so they're probably acids that are good. It's uh, um, skin benefits are brighter and calmer tone, smoother texture, uh, and UV free radicals, neutralizes. So, and it looks like it's made in the USA, and it also has this recyclable thing. Okay, so there I go. I may pass this on to my daughter because... I know she 
gets really irritated with her uh, rosacea and some roughness of texture. So I'll try it, but maybe I'll pass it on to her. Uh, anyway, there's plastic around here, which is good so it doesn't leak. Uh, recycle everything. Every little box that came, I will recycle. I will take the time to break down the boxes and recycle everything. If things came in plastic, I put everything in a plastic bag. I take it to my local grocery store in New Jersey. That's how it works. And they will take any kind of clean plastic. So I even do that with like my bread bags and stuff. I just make sure they're clean. Uh, I recycle everything possible, every container. Please don't be lazy. If it's recyclable, please do it. It's good for our earth. And, uh, you know, we might not be here forever, but our kids and grandkids, and if you don't have kids and grandkids, just humankind. Let's be kind to the earth and do what we can. So there's my big plug for that. Okay. So, okay. This is a hair product. Renee Fertur Texture Spray. And I'm not going to spray it to smell it. I hope it smells good. I don't do a lot with my hair. The most I do is just blow dry it, like by shaking it. And I, I don't hardly ever use a brush or, you know, because I don't know how very well. So, <laughs> but I want to, especially if I'm going to keep this short hair, I learn a little thing, you know, to play around with different little styles. I want to learn how to put my hair back and have it stay and look all cool and funky and whatever. So I want to learn about hair products and how to use them. Uh, better. So this was, oh, I'm so sorry. I might have forgotten to tell you something. This was $9. This was $9. The serum was $9. I think I did tell you that. Okay. This was also $9. And I can't believe it because two, two of these, two of these, $9. And they're pretty substantial. They are called Marrakesh Oil, Argan and Hemp Oil Therapy, Hair Styling Elixir. This is the High Tide scent, and this is the original. And I did open it because it doesn't have plastic around it. And there is like a little pump or spray. Um, this smells really nice, like tropical, fruity, but not bubble gummy. You know, just really nice. And then this one smells more like uh, a spicy kind of like mm, ah, I want to say brown sugar and cinnamon like some warm sweet spices I can't really think caramel I don't know but they're both smell good and uh, I will read more about this it says it's safe for color treated hair you only use a little bit on wet or dry hair and style as usual but I'm going to um, and it says it doesn't have alcohol in it it doesn't have parabens it doesn't have glutens and a couple other things that I can't pronounce including dyes so I will look at it more closely and hopefully review all these products once I actually use them but um, they got really good reviews of what I researched and if they don't have anything junky in there and it doesn't look like they do you can use oils, argon and hemp, which these are, as well as other oils out there, on your skin and lips and uh, not just your hair, uh, your cuticles, your nails, whatever. So if you really want to treat your skin to something, you can really put it everywhere. Uh, anyway, $9 for two of them. I definitely think that's a good deal and they smell good. So we'll see how they work on my hair and etc. I'm really a little embarrassed how bad my hair looks, but I'm sorry. Okay, Super Mood. I got two products from a Super Mood, and they were $14 each, which is kind of higher than I would go for this. But um, it's an organic company established in 2014, so pretty new. Uh, and Finland, based in Finland. So this is a... Baby face mask with vitamin C and ginkgo biloba. I'm not really sure if that's right. For all skin types. And I really haven't used a lot of masks in my life. 
the most I've used is with this FabFit Fun Box with ones that I've tried only a few times. So I got to get into a routine, maybe do one a week or a couple a week. But uh, it says Holistic Natural Beauty from Finland. So I'm looking forward to that. Okay. And then the other one is called Beauty Sleep. And this comes in a glass container with a pump. And uh, I don't know if I can s smell this. It doesn't have a bad smell, but it doesn't have a nice smell. It has a smell, but it's it just it smells it smells organic. It smells natural. That's what it is. And it's with sea fennel, so that's what I'm smelling probably is the fennel and stem cells. And it's for all skin types. It says youth restoring night cream. Well, I don't think that the um, mask is going to give me a baby face youth glow. And I don't think beauty sleep is going to restore my youth. But if it helps my skin at least maintain and not get worse or makes it feel good and there's a little result, then I think it's well worth it. A natural, organic um, product from Finland. I'm, I think that's reasonable. And these might have been in the high 30s when I looked up the uh, things on Amazon and so on and so forth. Okay, so then the next thing I got was New Me Classic Curling Wand, 25 millimeter in pink. Now, my hair is really too short for a curling yarn. I mean, I might be able to play around a little with it, and I'm, that's what I intend to do. But the last curling iron I used was the old kind with the clamp. You know, you had to, like, open and close it and get the hair and curl it up and then hold it and then undo it. And sometimes it would get tangled. And I always had trouble with, like, the clamp part that held the hair, like, where that would have a mark uh, or, like, a straight mark. You had this pretty curl, and then at the end it would be, like, all mark, you know, like this straight edge icky thing. This, you just twirl your hair around it. And so there's no mark. Uh, and I had hoped it would come with a glove, and I did open it, and it does. The glove, I didn't take it out of the plastic, which I'll recycle. But uh, here is the wand. I love the hot pink. Looks like it has a nice little stand. We'll see. I'll have to test it out. Um, but I also watched this on YouTube, and I watched a lot of women curl really pretty long hair and they would you know do it up here and then they would just slowly untwirl it and then let it the, let the curl drop it was so pretty for those loose sexy curls which I will not be doing unless I grow my hair out but if my hair was dry right now oh it's just a mess I can't believe I'm doing a video with this but anyway it's still a little wet uh anyway I could play around a little bit with it as long as I kept it away from my face and used the glove because I do not like pain. And I could see some of these women on some of the videos were not using the gloves. Probably a little um, awkward to use it. And there are directions in here too. Um, and I like the storage container. Um, it seems pretty sturdy like it'll last for a while. Uh, I would totally use the glove. I don't like burning myself, and I don't know how they did it without. Every once in a while I could see one of them, uh, I'll play around with that later, burning their fingers, and they were being very gentle and like, ah! But uh, they kept their uh, face on about it. Anyway, I just wanted to try it, and for $19, I think it's a good brand, and uh, we'll see. If, I, if it doesn't really work for my hair, because it's too short and I decide to keep it short, which I very well might forever. I don't know. I always had hair to here, or at least at least to here ish lately, but it used to be even longer. So if I'm keeping the short hair, I'll pass it to one of my daughters or a friend. But anyway, we'll see. I'll review it once I try it. Okay, so Nightingale Remedies Hemp Oil Relief Cream came in this box. And this was expensive. It was $19 for this little bit, 1.7 fluid ounce. And I don't know how much, you know, this is the top here. So it probably comes to in here. But it's paraben-free, gluten-free, cruelty-free. And it says just apply three pumps 
of the cream to the area of pain or inflammation and massage gently until absorbed. Well, you know, if you've ever had an ache or a pain and use something like Bengay or uh, Arnica, you know, they're all strong and work a little bit. But this one, I was really, really interested to try because of the hemp. Somebody recently told me that hemp oil is really good for pain and inflammation. So I'm always willing to try something. I have pretty constant neck pain and sometimes other areas of my body. And I don't like taking drugs, so when it gets really, really bad, I'll take ibuprofen. Uh, try not to. But this is topical, so this is going right on your skin. You're not ingesting it. Right there, that's a plus. So if this works half decently, I'm going to try it tonight on my neck. Uh, it is totally worth the price. The back has so many natural ingredients. They're all natural, and I'm not going to read them all, but there's not one thing in here. The last thing on the list is witch hazel water, okay, down there. Everything else is a natural product, okay? So you've got, uh, well, maybe not everything. There's something in there, phyto something. Cannabis, <laughs> okay, so that's the hemp oil. <laughs> Turmeric, um, MSN, arnica flower, avocado oil, black pepper oil, blue green algae extract, cinnamon leaf, chickweed, coconut oil. I can't, I'm not going to spend all the time. So many natural things. I would think this has to work. I'm very excited about that. Uh, that'll probably be like the top product for me of all these things that I bought. Okay. This one is hilarious to me. This is a Snuggie hooded travel pillow, and it was only $9. But it's got like that foamy stuff, and you can adjust it, you know, to you. And it has a hood that's also adjustable. I'll have to cut that off. Um, but I like the idea that I could put the hood on, and it might block a little bit of noise and a little bit of the light. Like if I'm in the car with my husband, we don't travel all that much. We've driven to um, Williamsburg a couple times together. We're newly married, not even a year. Next week it'll be a year. Uh, and we've driven to Hilton Head a few times. And he does almost all of the driving. And he's always trying to get me to sleep because I'm terrible at sleeping. It's really hard for me to chill out and just sleep. I think this might be really nice for long car, car rides. So I might even keep it in the back of the car for shorter car rides if, it, if we're out late which we're not very often, but anyway. For $9, I'm really excited to try that, and it looks a little bit better made than some of those other travel pillows out there for at least that price. Okay, and then we have a pre-layer necklace. I love this necklace. This was 19 and normally for something that doesn't isn't at least gold-plated, and I don't believe this was, I wouldn't spend... Too much money on jewelry, even though I love jewelry. I won't spend, you know, all that much on what I would call costume jewelry. And I think there was a choice of silver or gold. And it just came, you know, on this paper board with a plastic thing, which I will recycle. But what appealed to me about it is that it seemed to be light. And I am correct that it's very light. And I have very short nails, which I just clipped. But I can easily do it. And it has a, just a few choices. And it would, certainly would not wear it with this or this. But I want you to see just how pretty and delicate. Not so delicate that you can't see it, but not too heavy for someone who has a lot of neck pain and herniated discs. I love this piece. If it was... Nine dollars, I'd be happier, but the fact that it's three layers and it looks pretty sturdy and I can operate it very easy. You just saw me. I hate when I have to mess around with post earrings and trying to find the thing or necklaces and I'm struggling getting it on. And I could see myself wearing this all day or all evening, dressing it up with, you know, a t shirt or, you know, wearing it with a really nice classy outfit for a dressier occasion. 
I could see my, I'll probably wear that a lot, but just not with something that already has detail on it. Uh, I love it. I really love it. I wasn't sure. I was like, that's a lot of money for something. But, but I think they, whatever, I'm talking too much. Okay, so then we're almost done. Summer and Rose Black Felt Hat. Excuse me while I get it. My table's only so big. All right, so it came like this, and it was $9. I think they had one, maybe two other choices, maybe like a beige or a brown or both. And I am so sorry I didn't buy all of them for 9 bucks. Ah, because sometimes hats are really cheap and cheaply made. This is felt for sure, but it's got nice structure. It's got structure here, but so it doesn't flop. I don't really usually like a floppy hat. I like structure, but I don't want it to be stiff like a, uh, you know, like a straw, uh, like a barbershop quartet hat. I want it to be like this. This is exactly the kind of hat I would like. So it came with a band to protect this. Oh, you can't really see it too well, but it's like a pleather tie and it blends real nice with the black. It doesn't stick out too much. It is, I think, glued on at least in one spot, but it, I think it would be very easy to remove it if I wanted to add some color or just put these ties, tuck these ties back this way and tie a color, colorful ribbon or scarf or put some pins. So, ah, uh, love it. And it also came to protect it this. Now, I don't like plastic because the plastic is... <laughs> ruins our environment. However, in this case, I was worried about ordering a hat and if it would come all crushed or crappy. Well, I'm sorry, crappy. I would like more of these because I already have hats and they're really hard to store because I don't, I don't want them to get crushed or messy. So this hat, so I have some hanging on one of my walls, like my more like Western kind of style, but my other hats, I wish I had more of these you know, and then you could kind of like um, layer them and store them. Anyway, I'm probably going to keep that and the band, even though it's only paper, to protect this hat, which I love a hat. Okay, maybe I don't need the earrings with it, but look how cute that is. And it is felt, but it's not heavy, heavy. It's not like wool, so I think I could wear it year-round. I wouldn't wear it to the beach, of course. I would wear a different kind of hat. But, um, I don't know. Not with, I, got, I would have to play with my hair a little. But I like a hat. So, do, do, do. This is another one of my favorite purchases. And I'm really, I just can't believe it was $9. And I'm so bummed I didn't buy all of them. But I wasn't sure. And I felt like I was going a little overboard. Originally, my cart... When I first got the email, I went crazy, and I had like $500 worth of stuff in this editor sale. And then I went back a couple times through the week, because they tell you when the sale's ending. And I deleted a lot of stuff, because, you know, I don't mind treating myself, but I'm like, that's ridiculous. So, anyway. What was my point in telling you that? I don't know. So then, um, the next thing I bought was called... Uh, a B, like capital B dash low, below the belt, Mia belt. <laughs> and I love the name of it, below the belt. And I got one in a FabFitFun box. I think there was a choice. It was one of those either or things. It just came in this. Uh, I got the black one with the silver um, hardware. This, this, th They call this brown. To me, it's more of a camel with the gold. And... Um, I wasn't sure I wanted it, so I think I chose the other item. And then, when the add-ons came, I saw the black. I, I saw these offered, and they were about nine dollars. I don't remember, but I got the black one. And I gotta tell you, I thought, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna use it, but because it's long, like you can just tie this around a dress, like a t-shirt dress. And this part is heavy enough that it hangs down. It doesn't flop around too much. Or you can play around with it and loop it, you know, different ways and even thread it a little if you want to tuck it all in. So 
if you need a pocketbook strap or something, maybe you could, I don't know. No, I'm being silly. But anyway, the other thing about it, it's very, very long. It's really long, and I wasn't sure about it. It will fit quite a few ladies, I would think, or men. I don't know. Suit your fancy? Uh, it's not even a thing. Um, but you could wear this over a bigger sweater, a chunky sweater, even a coat. Like a lot of coats that are dressier have ties that match the coat. Well, maybe you want to dress it up or have it look more fashionable if it's going to be part of your outfit for a cold night or whatever. I'm just going on and on. This is worth it. I already had the black one, and I was like, oh, on this sale, it's mine. At least so, anyway. That's that, and now I'm trying to figure out how to put it, put it away so it doesn't drop on the floor. Okay, two more items. Thank you for sticking with me if you have. Woo, this video is long. I wanted it to be less than a half hour. It's already 40 minutes. We'll definitely do under an hour. So this is, um, this works. Stress check face oil. All right, so when, let's see, what does it say? Uh, this is a London-based company made in the UK. Apply after sleep to restore and calm troubled skin. It's called 24-Hour Skin Solutions. How? A super blend of pure botanical oils, vitamin C and E, and omega-3. Why? Tackle the aging effects of stress for younger-looking skin. Apply a few drops to cleanse skin. Use with Stress Check Face Mask for more intensive action. And then it does list all the ingredients here, and it looks like a lot of natural ingredients. It's eco-friendly, purity, effective, award-winning, integrity. Each year we aim to help people and communities through donations and events. So, boy, when I see stuff like that, that just makes me even happier. It does come with a big thing. I'll, I'll read about it. And, I don't know, let me see. Oh, this is how, this definitely, this smells like a quality uh, product with a lot of essential oils and such. It smells like walking into a um, health food store. That's what it smells like, like a pleasant health food store smell. Mmm, can't wait to use it. I think just smelling it, I'll be less stressed out. Okay, and then the last thing I got is Tarte again. I started with Tarte. I ended with Tarte. Came in this box. This was all open, which I was like, uh-oh. But there's nothing wrong with it. I think it just wasn't closed properly and whatever. Uh, Tarte, the Sculptor Face Slenderizer, and it's Park Avenue Princess. So I think that's the actual color is the Park Avenue Princess. And it was the only one they offered. It was only $7. And they give you a little bit of ways to use it there. Um, I think it's a little dark for me. And I don't, I, I don't really have a wide face. And I don't do a lot of that chiseled uh, body uh, face contouring when I do do makeup. <laughs> once in a while, but I, I don't really know how to, and I don't, you know, I'll do some, uh, hmm, stuff here to, you know, lighten the bags and stuff, but this seems really dark. I might be using it as a thick eyeliner, or maybe even a, <laughs> here I am being silly, maybe even like a eyebrow touch up, I don't know. If my husband sees this, he might use it for his eyebrows. <laughs> he does not have a lot of eyebrow. Look at me. I'm totally not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And I do have a little gray spot there. I'm not going to play with it. Anyway, I don't know if I'm going to be able to use this for contouring. Maybe if I'm doing like real, when I'm really tanner. Uh, but it looks like it blends pretty nice. So, we'll see. $7. It's tart. I really do like tart. All right. So, that's everything. I'm sorry. This is about 45 minutes long. But um, if you're wondering about FabFitFun, this is a new thing that they've done uh, with this editor sale. And everything came to 240 
And unfortunately, I can't find out what the retail prices were. I mean, I could go back on Amazon again and, and do it that way. But I'm not going to do that because then I it, everything would take longer. But you are already familiar with the brands and, and probably understand that most of the stuff was a good 50% uh, more. If not, some of these items were up to 70% off. Uh, I think the lowest was 30%. I don't know. It's a really good deal, and I'm glad I did it. And I hope to review some of these products at another time. Have a wonderful day. And uh, if you know that you've used these products and you want to comment on them below or you have questions, you know, please, please put comments down. And if you feel like subscribing, I do try not to talk for 45 minutes, but I would love to hear... Uh, if you've used these products or what you know about them, etc. Okay. Bye. Mm -hmm.